Let me ask you a question. Would you intentionally shoot yourself in the foot? The answer is most likely no, because you wouldn't want to hurt yourself. However, you do that without even realizing it when you self-sabotage. You get in your own way. You get in the way of your own success. So in this video, I'll be talking about signs that you are self-sabotaging, just so you are aware of them. My name is Chris and you are welcome to my channel. The first sign you are self-sabotaging is that you feel so undeserving of good things. When good things are happening to you, you feel like you don't deserve them. You feel like those good things should be happening to other people. You feel like a fraud and that is where the imposter syndrome comes in. You feel like you don't deserve any of it. You feel like you haven't earned it. Well, I've got some good news for you. You deserve all of it and even more because if you didn't deserve it, it wouldn't happen to you in the first place. It's all happening because you have worked for it one way or another. You may not realize it, but you have earned it. So instead of feeling like you don't deserve the good things happening in your life, you need to start taking them in. Okay, let them sink in because you have earned them either directly or indirectly. Okay, if you didn't, they wouldn't be happening at all. The second sign you are self-sabotaging is that you second guess yourself. When you want to do something, you feel like you are not good enough for that thing. You're like, okay, I'm going to fail. I am going to fail. I don't have the right skills. I don't have the right talent. I don't have the right tools to do this thing. So I should just give it up already because I know that I am going to fail at it. Well, that's just your feeling talking. That's just you getting in your way, okay? Because it's not a fact. It's not a fact, okay? If, if you wanted to look at the facts, you would have to provide evidence that indeed you are going to fail. And when you second guess yourself, half the time you stop yourself from doing things that would most likely turn out well for you. And when you feel like you're not good enough to do something, you deprive yourself of opportunities to actually excel in life. Because if you don't take a chance, there's no way you're going to win because you never did it in the first place. The only people who actually win are people who make things happen, people who do things, people who get out of your comfort zones to actually get things done. Stop second guessing yourself. And yes, you may have failed in the past, but there's no guarantee that you are going to fail this time around. Things could actually work out well for you. Each time you second guess yourself, you self-sabotage because you might end up not going ahead with that thing you actually wanted to do. And when you don't go through with it, you deprive yourself of that opportunity to achieve one more thing, to pick up one more item off your list. Okay, second guessing is a sure sign of self-sabotage. The third sign of self-sabotage is always blaming yourself every time something goes wrong. You see, there's no guarantee that every single thing you do will turn out well. You blaming yourself for every single thing that goes wrong is indeed self-sabotage because when you keep blaming yourself, you lose the confidence to try things even more. You lose the confidence to, to go after the things that you actually want. Being pessimistic arises because if you blame yourself for every single thing that goes wrong, it means that you begin to feel that you're not good enough to achieve success even before things manifest, even before the results come out, you already feel that you're going to fail. And if you already feel that you're going to fail, there's a very high chance that you're going to fail because that's the energy 
that you are putting out. Is it okay for you to take accountability? Absolutely, you need to take accountability. And when you take accountability, you are acknowledging where you know you could have performed better, you're acknowledging the things you could do differently. It's different from you putting yourself down, you know, being so hard on yourself, calling yourself all sorts of names. No, no, no. You need to stop blaming yourself for everything that goes wrong because things are bound to go wrong. Things will not always go well. And when that happens, instead of blaming yourself, give yourself some grace, take accountability for the things you could have done better and learn from that experience. With that attitude, with that mindset, you are able to achieve a lot more and perform a lot better next time. Not being willing to get out of your comfort zone is an act of self-sabotage. You're so comfortable with where you are because you don't want to get into unfamiliar territory. You prefer the consistency that you have. You prefer the comfort of what you have. And when you do that, you deprive yourself of the opportunity to achieve even more because there's a whole lot out there for you. There's so much more you can achieve. There's so much more you can do. But how are you going to, to achieve them? How are you going to do all those things if you feel like your comfort zone is the best if you can't get out of your comfort zone no you need to let go of that fear that fear that holds you back that stops you from going after things out of your reach things out of your comfort zone okay life isn't perfect and yes there are circumstances that would shake you that would challenge you but at the end of the day if you come out of those circumstances, you come out of them a better person. So in a way, they are good for you because they prepare you for the future. They prepare you for bigger tasks ahead. Not getting out of your comfort zone is an act of self-sabotage. And if you linger, if you continue to do that, you are not going to you know, maximize your full potential. You are limiting yourself. You are shooting yourself in the foot so you need to be bold enough yes you might be afraid you might have concerns and all but being able to you know move forward to take that step regardless of your fears is an act of bravery and when you do that you take little steps gradually before you know it you will be on your way of doing a lot more you are going to overcome that self-sabotaging act. Downplaying your success is a sign of self-sabotage. When you win, when you achieve something, instead of you to give yourself a pat on the back, instead of you to celebrate your success, you don't play. You're like, oh, it's nothing. It's no big deal. It is something, okay? It's a big deal. You need to acknowledge that. You need to you know, celebrate your wins. When you do that, you put yourself in a mental state to achieve more, to win more. Downplaying your success only makes you look small to yourself. And when you look small to yourself, you don't feel big enough to take on bigger tax. You need to celebrate your success no matter how little it is. It is a win. A win is a win. You need to celebrate it. The more you do that, the more you, you know, let yourself know that you are capable of achieving the things. You're capable of making things happen. You are capable of achieving a lot more than you can even imagine. Last but not the least is not forgiving yourself for your past mistakes. Mistakes happen. Okay. They happen. You can't continue to dwell on that forever. When you do that, you are self-sabotaging. You are shooting yourself in the foot. You are holding yourself back from moving forward, for moving on to greater things, all right? One mistake, several mistakes, no matter the number, it doesn't matter. Mistakes are a thing of the past and should be left there, no matter how big or grievous they are. You just need to learn from them and move forward because 
the more you hold on to those mistakes, the more you deny yourself of the opportunity to do better. You can't. It's difficult for you to move on and become better and become greater if you are still holding on to your mistakes from the past. You need to let them go so you're able to move forward and live your best life. And when you move forward, if you ever encounter similar situations, you know, situations that are related to those mistakes, you know better, you, you're able to handle them better, you're able to ensure that the mistakes of the past don't repeat themselves. There you have it, signs of self-sabotage. If you do those things, you're self-sabotaging and denying yourself of the opportunity to be greater, the opportunity to be happier, the opportunity to be healthier. If you notice that you exhibit any of the signs, you might want to take a closer look to examine further and take deliberate steps to stop them. My name is Chris once again and good night talking to you in this video. See you in the next one.